Spiky Cross. Cross. Hi, my name is Anna and I'm a singer. Hi, my name is Peyton and I'm a dancer. And today, what are we doing today? Today, we are back with a, another comeback reaction, this time to rookie girl group Stacy. Yes, so Stacy is back with a new comeback and it's their first one after the insane hype blew up that was ASAP. <laughs> and this song is called Stereotype or the Korean title Sek Angyong. But we have seen the teaser in advance and kind of know what to expect. So that being said, let's just go! Oh wait, oh, I was like, it's just the letters of their name. It sounds kind of like the beginning of like a cartoon. It's going their signature. Down. Yeah. It's a lot more like whimsical, sort of sweet yeah. than I was expecting. That line makes I feel like I should be in like a fairy tale, like yeah. a storybook, like fairy. It's the sort of fruity line. Mm. Oh. And then build up, yeah. Mm. But what's the chorus gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not- Ooh! You know how songs have, like, are associated with seasons in Korea? Yeah. This feels more like a spring song. Spring? Yeah! Yeah. But the colors are definitely like summer release. Mm. But maybe also kind of spring because all the light it's kind mm -hmm. of washed out sometimes. The natural light. Oh my god. I think this is my favorite part of the song. Pre chorus? Mm. Oh. Oh. Mean girls. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's you and me. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's literally they're making glasses instead oh. of windows. That's cute. Okay, but what's the, the bunny? giant bunny? <laughs> Don't. Oh. It's, mm. it's like fairies. Yeah. This might be my favorite part of this. <laughs> yeah. But the giant bunny really is. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My first note that I wrote down is literally, wow, they are so young. And I felt that the whole time we were watching. I was like, I feel a generational gap with this song. <laughs> More so than I think ASAP because in ASAP, remember it had like all of the cartoons, like webtoons, like that sort of thing that had that like retro feel. So it reminded me of my childhood. This one, I was like, oh my gosh, they're literally like in a high school. Wow, that was a long time ago. <laughs> but they're really cute. That was like the follow up to the they're so young. They're so cute. And like all of the scenes when they're playing like dress up and everything, I was like, they're just adorable. A couple of things about the dance, however. So obviously their big sort of like point move is all of the glasses imagery. And I actually almost laughed during it because they literally go like this. And I was like, this is what we did in the intro. I liked it because also for some reason, like the way that their hands are fanned out too, it reminded me of like kaleidoscope glasses, the way that they're shaped. And then for the 
concept where you're like seeing someone through different lenses, through different colors, like showing different sides. I really liked that imagery of like the kaleidoscope, the sort of like changes depending on how you turn it, depending on how you look through it. But then in the formations too, so I mentioned in the one part, it looked kind of like they're making windows, but because there were two, they were making glasses and they're showing different like members in the glasses, sort of like changing it up, showing different sides. But it wasn't just there. There's other parts in the formation where even from a more aerial view, like when they showed it a little bit later in the song, like around the bridge, you could see the way they're like set up is sort of in like two circles that are connected. And so it's just a lot of like that sort of glasses imagery, which makes sense with the song. Going off of that idea of formations, there were some pretty interesting formations in this and they switch it up a lot, which I mentioned in our last Stacy reaction too. It's just something that they tend to do in their choreographies. And I think it's a good choice because it keeps it very fresh and very interesting. Because for one, like with the song being like lighter, they're not stationary for too long. So it keeps their bodies moving as well. So it like enhances that feeling, but also the choreography itself is a little bit more repetitive. And so it keeps it fresh for your eyes when you're seeing it in different formations and they're moving while doing the choreography, not just stationary for the whole phrase. I guess my last sort of note is following that train of thought on it being a little bit more repetitive. So following up the phenomenon that was ASAP, I think the way the choreography is structured for this makes a lot of sense because once again, it's choreographed like a TikTok challenge. Like every group these days does a TikTok challenge, but there's like two sort of versions. There's the one where you just learn the actual choreography, or there's the one where you make like a different challenge to go along with the song. This is definitely the former where like the challenge is going to be the dance because that's how it's structured. It's like a TikTok trend dance, which I think is really smart because ASAP was so wildly popular on social media that having that sort of choreography is leaning towards allowing this one to do the same and allowing this one to blow up. And also the choreography itself is a similar style. Like it's a little bit different because the song is just like whimsical, like brighter, but some of the moves are very similar. So you're kind of getting the feeling and that's like super important for rookies to follow up on when they've had that sort of wild success. So yeah, they're really cute, but I was really feeling the generational gap. I was like, oh man, and I'm old. Bannister. <laughs> Hello, so it's time for my comments and it's kind of funny because I also felt kind of old watching this even though like I am closer in age to them than you are but there's still kind of that sort of feeling because I also have not been in high school for a little while now. So a lot of my comments are talking about like how more sweet whimsical this song sounds and like I said in the reaction a lot of that has to do with that sort of flute line that you hear right from the start and it is carrying on throughout the entire song. Just the texture and tone of that instrument is like higher up, there's air in there so it sounds like more whimsical. You usually associate that with like fairy tales. Also in the instrumental other sort of more like sweet sounding lines and instruments there's like that bubbly line that you hear right from the beginning as well but like it is still more like trendy twist to it after like the more intro section like halfway through the first verse you start hearing like percussion come in and it has more like trendy er beats to it just like the bass and the sort of like snare line that you hear that divides the beat that cuts out for the beginning of the pre-chorus but then like halfway through the pre-chorus it comes back in because it does the build up for the chorus drop another thing in the background though that's adding to their sweet style is the background vocals. They have a lot of background ahs, just like ah, ah, ah lines being sung, which is very sort of like, it made me think of like Disney princess. Is it Snow White or Cinderella that like sings to the animals? Uh, like Snow White, Snow White, Snow White. Yeah, Snow White, but just like the little like ahs sung out. It's kind of like that feeling, very sweet, sort of more innocent, which goes in line with like the lyrics and meaning of the song where it's like, don't stereotype me, I'm actually like a very sweet and good girl. <laughs> Which I think was a cool choice to do after ASAP blew up because ASAP and also their debut so bad. Not that they weren't still sort of like cute in those. Both of those songs had a more like hard section like where the beat changes and like the rap comes in and it's more like oof you know sort of intense more like girl crush y but this song didn't really have that section like obviously like i said it had the trendy twist to it but it was still more like sweet sort of innocent vibes i mean they're also in high school for this music video so it makes sense but adding to that is like yes they did have the trendier beat instruments but there was overall a lot less syncopated rhythms i would say like a lot more of the song the beat 
beat was just like one, two, three, four, like tobak tobak, which is associated with like the more innocent straightforwardness. So it was like kind of in line with the style that they've been showing this whole time, but also like a slightly different twist, like showing more innocent, sweeter side, which is basically the entire point of this song, like the meaning of the song. Yeah, those were my comments. But it is my turn to TLDR, so TLDR for this reaction is Stacy is back with their new release called Stereotype Segam Young, and they are making sure that you know that they are multifaceted people group, especially after the blow up of ASAP, bringing out a different side to them, not only in the song, the lyrics, the dance a little bit more, and just vibes overall. And they're just really cute, so young. Yeah. But that being said, if you enjoyed this release, if you want to talk more about Stacey, about this song, about K-pop in general, then come find us on our socials, which are linked in the cards. And if you enjoyed this reaction video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and bye! Bye!